Alrighty guys, so we have a really interesting update today because not one, not two, not three, but four shipments arrived today. They either arrived today or last night, but four shipments arrived today. So in this footage, you see one and two shipments that arrived. And very shortly, you'll see what I mean by the other part of the shipments. It's insane. A lot of really important things arrived and I'm really excited by what arrived because it gives us a better estimate to the height of the coaster, to the width of the trains, how many people it'll sit. There's so much to discuss and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to discuss it all in this one video. I have another video coming out tomorrow and then I even started covering Halloween Haunt construction as it has started and it is in full swing. I couldn't be more thrilled by the things going on around the park. So as we all know, DMG is on the supports, it's on the track, it's on everything. We don't know what G stands for, it could be totally random, it could mean something, it could mean nothing. Who knows? We're not going to dive too much into that anymore. That topic's old, let's move on. Um, but there's some interesting numbers. So the L4 R2 means something and it matches my blueprints. So that has been easy for me to figure out what's going on, but we'll touch on that in just a sec. Let's get to this. Who has seen these? Up close these are the combs for anyone that doesn't know what a comb is a comb is and here comes the part where I'm not knowledgeable <laughs> the comb is the moving station platform that lowers and rises for guests to get on dive coasters and a lot of B&M models like floorless trains as well um, so those have arrived um, and they're fully exposed they were unwrapped which is really confusing but at the end of the video we'll talk about something we got to speak to someone today and that someone gave us some really cool information um, so we, we kind of know when vertical is going to start now. We know when the final pieces are arriving. We know a lot, um, which is really cool. It's not anything about the coaster. Nothing was revealed like that. But we know some few, a few things about when we might start seeing some things happening, which is really exciting. So here you go. The right comb. There's right, left. DMG there again. Wow, what's going on? We're not going to talk about that. But this is for the station. This is for the combs. They lower, rise to allow guests to get on the ride. What else arrived? Well, we'll get to that in just a second. <laughs> So um, he, I thought this was an awesome shot. I don't know about you guys, but I was like super excited to get this. Um, we know what the coaster is. So it is in plain sight. It's all over the construction site, um, but we just don't know. So as I discussed in yesterday's video, we know so much, so much about this coaster, yet we know so little. We know so little. Like who knows the height? No one. <laughs> who knows the length? No one, we just know where it goes. Who knows the ride details? Well, we know a few, but we're missing a lot of information as well. Um, I'm working really hard to get a lot of information and we're gonna reveal a lot of information the day of the announcement as well, just before they announce it. Um, but we still don't know too much. So a lot of you guys are like, why are you withholding information? We're not withholding any information actually. There's a lot of information we don't know. We know the coasters, this, orange brown color similar to Val Raven. We know the supports are green, like a pine green. We know that this coaster is going to be fairly tall. It's not going to be giga, but it's going to be tall. We know this coaster is getting a lot of money poured into it, but each day I film, new information comes forward. I get more and more confused about this coaster project the more things that arrive, which is why I wasn't hesitant to just show you the dive coaster tag there because we all know it's a dive coaster. Enthusiasts watch my videos. That's okay. We already all know. Um, so there's a lot of um, areas of opportunity. I say areas of opportunity like I'm a manager, but there's a lot of um, areas about this coaster and things about this coaster that we don't understand. Like the support structure. When I look at the support structure in the blueprints, I'm like confuzzled beyond belief. I have no idea what's going on. Wait till you guys see the lift structure for this coaster. It's is insane. It, it doesn't make sense. It's it's unique. Wait, do you see the drop? I mean, a bit of that makes sense. Oh, I have to rush here. <laughs> so here we have the um, the pre-lift area. Very unique. It definitely is starting to look like it's going to be some sort of like show element, not like a show element, but kind of like a pre-lift type like scenery. Um, the footings are all done. The footings are done. They're drying. We know vertical construction is probably going to start very shortly. I would say two weeks. Within two weeks, we should see it. Um, so in these shipping containers, in shipping container number one, we revealed more bolts, more bolts, more lift hill pieces, more random objects that we don't know. There were some weird objects in there. There were support beams that were brown. We were confused about that. That's probably for the station though. There were random like cases with like more chain in them, which I was like, well, we already have enough. Slow down there. <laughs> How tall is this going to be? Who knows? 
but lots of really weird things that I can't describe, uh, nor do I know. I'm going to get a better shot of them tomorrow. We ran into a, a bit of a situation earlier, but it's been resolved. Um, due to everything that was going on, um, security just wanted me out of there, not filming anymore. Um, and then I, I reached out. We're allowed to film now. Everything was sorted out. I was a little bit confused, but everything's good. Everything's sorted out. So I'll be there again tomorrow filming. Um, so I didn't get all the footage I wanted to. These are the catwalks for the lift hill. So exciting. Everything is arriving, by the way. And we're going to touch on that very shortly because we've got some really good news. Really good news. I know so much now and I'm so excited about it. Um, so I know that, A, everything for the station is going to be here Thursday. They're done. Shipping for the station is done. And that's a good sign. And I'll explain why. So everything for the station is shipped. They unwrapped it, okay? So they unwrapped the um, computer stuff. Why is it a good sign? Well, it shows that probably vertical construction is going to start sometime soon. One would assume, right? Would you guys agree? I mean, that's a pretty sure shot at uh, assuming uh, that vertical is going to start, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, correct me down below, but I'm I'm, I'm a betting man on vertical starting within the next two weeks maximum on the station area. Uh, definitely the transfer track as well. Those footings are beyond cured and ready for vertical. Now, um, <laughs> so here's some of them being lifted out. There's the weird brown support structures in there. And this is about the time that I got <laughs> escorted out. Um, from filming right after this. I don't know if they just didn't want me to see in there, but everything is okay. Everything's sorted out. We're allowed to film. I'll be there tomorrow. First thing to just film some more. Uh, nothing else is going to be revealed by filming stuff in this area anyway, so there's not much else to uh, worry about being caught or filmed, but definitely some really exciting things to look at. Now let's get to Halloween Haunt. So Halloween Haunt is starting. Construction is starting. Um, this is actually for vertical construction, by the way. A lot of things were delivered. A crane was delivered and the um, scissor lift has been delivered as well. I don't know if that's a scissor lift. Cherry picker, I believe. That's a cherry picker. It's been delivered. It's all sitting there. They are ready. But here is a Halloween Haunt construction going on. And they also have the one by the entrance starting as well. And it looks like it has a military experiment gone wrong theme to it. It's got like, biohazard containers, a military Jeep. Really cool. But this is what's interesting. This arrived about 30 minutes ago, and that is why my video is late. Yes, I know. Boo hiss. Brendan, why is your video out late? Well, this is why. I wanted you guys to see this in a video. I didn't want to wait until tomorrow. That sucks. Why throw another support delivery in a video tomorrow when I could just include it in this one? So these are massive. There's the station supports and brake run supports also arriving. And then the big lift section number two. Now there's something weird. There's a weird tag on here and you guys are gonna have a bit of a laugh. The weird tag, <laughs> look at the customer name. Century Oct Beijing Co. Limited Music Roller Coaster. I don't know what to say about that. So I'm not gonna say too much. Comment down below what you guys think. Um, but that's definitely our coaster. It has our code on it and everything. Now here is where it gets juicy. I don't know how I missed this when I was reading over the blueprints, but I did. Look at the pathway. So you see in the red in the top left section, I circled it. The black is the new pathway that's going to be built. The yellow is the current pathway. The reason they're going to have to move that pathway over is because of some footings. The footings take up a lot of that pathway. So they're moving the pathway over even more in the end, which is super cool. Um, it actually helps me explain what I originally thought was the end of the lift isn't the end of the lift, but it's very close. In fact, the lift hill is slightly longer than I originally thought by just a bit. Nothing nothing to concern anyone. It's not going to add too much to the coaster. It's going to add maybe a couple of feet. Don't worry. Um, but what is also interesting is <laughs> the building in the bottom right section. So there is definitely a building bigger than the clearance envelope down there at the base of the lift. That might signify that there is some sort of building that you're going to go through before ascending the lift. That's pretty cool. I don't know what kind of storyline or what kind of theme it's going to go with in the end. I'm starting to think Ziz, but it could be anything. So a couple of the things we learned is that everything for the station is going to be here Thursday. Uh, vertical construction is probably going to start within the next two weeks. Teasing is going to start. Mm, <laughs> I actually don't know. Dot, dot, dot. Teasing is going to start when it starts. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to be epic. Halloween Haunt construction starting. Um, we are learning more about this coaster each day. There will definitely be a video out tomorrow talking about a few things and some close-ups of things in the shipping container that we weren't able to film today, unfortunately. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. 
um, and give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for a big update tomorrow as there's some information that I am still going through tonight. Have a good one, guys. Bye.